We will retreat into Altaria. Altaria does the magical echo and, and knocks out the Duraladon for a whole bunch. Heals up the superior. GG's. Lost in the shuffle of Lugia V-Star Mania is superior V-Star. And while at the time when it was coming out, there wasn't necessarily high hopes for superior V-Star being a a top tier deck or anything like that is there some value in this as a rogue tier option that could potentially upset some of the bigger decks in the game i'm jet from inthirdperson.com make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and let's talk about superior v star it's got 270 htp it's grass type which is mostly okay there are times you're gonna run into radiant charizard and that's gonna make you really sad um but generally speaking, it's grass is not the worst type to be per se. You're not necessarily getting blown up for weakness all the time. You do have the move Regal Blender for one grass, two colorless energy, does 190 damage, which is eh. And you may move that, you may move any amount of energy from your Pokemon to your other Pokemon in any way you like. So you can move energy from superior to another Pokemon. You can move it from like the bench to something else on the bench kind of move it however you want and that's kind of nifty even if you're only doing 190 damage you're barely knocking out crobat and oftentimes it's double turbo energy as well so you're not even knocking out crobat you can get a luminion with this it's kind of rough but you're kind of using the the ability to move energy to either attack with a fresh superior or use Altaria with the Magical Echo attack for two colorless energy. You move all damage counters from one of your bench Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. So the whole idea is you do some damage with Superior, then you try and tank a big hit from your opponent, and you're going to do that thanks to Superior having 270 HP. You're going to have Radiant Guard of War to bring the damage down a little bit. You're going to have Krikatoon set up to give you plus 40 HP, and ideally you have one of your big charms set up as well, giving you just a giant whack load of HP on your superior. You're going to attack. You're going to move the energy over to the Altaria and then just move all of that damage to your opponent's active Pokemon and hopefully up trading in the process. It's a little bit of a weird combo to get going, but you only really need to hit this once, maybe twice, to really get the advantage on your opponent, especially if you're playing against the V deck. Some other stuff here to, to help us get set up. I love Leafeon in this deck just to get an extra grass energy attached at the in the first turn of the game because otherwise you can get stuck even though you can technically get superior charged up with just two attachments um, having the leafy on there is a huge plus and i've got two of these in here just to make sure that i always have one ready on my first turn and as some supporting Pokemon, Drapion is really nice here. Mew is very popular, especially on the PTCGO ladder, PTCG Live as well. And you're pretty much getting a free one hit KO on a Mew V Max, especially since Superior V Star has free retreat. So it's pretty easy to get Drapion in the active where you need it to be. We've also got for support one Crobat to draw some more cards, Luminion to grab a supporter of our choice, and a Manaphy just in case to protect stuff like the Swablu and the, the Cricket Tot. You don't necessarily have to worry too much about the other stuff. I think this is a flex spot if you're not if you're not too worried about spread damage right now, you can take this out, but it's it's not necessarily the worst thing to have in the deck. We have lots of Pokemon search here in terms of four Ultra Ball, four Quick Balls, two Evo Incense to grab those evolutions, lots of options, and then even Battle VIP Pass because this deck wants to set up really wide. You want to get down like two Superior Vs, one, one Leafeon, one Swablu, one, um, one, hold on, one of these, the Swablu, uh, Krikatot, Leafeon, two Superiors, and then probably the Gardevoir. So, like, you want to go as wide as you can early, and Battle VIP Pass helps you out with that. We've also got, for Pokemon Search, two Turfield Stadiums. Uh, this is to grab your, your Superior V-Stars as you need, as well as your Krikatoon if you need it. You might want to play around with the counts. There, I, I found that I don't necessarily need this much. You might want to tune it a little bit 
Um, Ordinary Rod is really good to get some of your Pokemon back, especially the Drapion in the Mew matchup, but you might also need it to get the 1-1 the one -one Cricketot Cricketune back or the Altarias in here. We also have, for supporters, we've got two copies of Boss's Orders and one copy of Serena, which is kind of like Boss for Pokemon V, but also acts as a draw card. I think that Boss, or Gusting in particular, is important for this deck because you're not necessarily doing the most damage. So when there are opportunities, when there are opportunities to take something out like a Luminion, like a Crobat, then you want to have those handy. I do have one choice belt in here just to know up, up the damage on at least one of your superiors so you can take that cheeky KO on a Pokemon V, but it's it's not, it, I wouldn't necessarily rely on that as your, your game plan. For draw support, we've also got two Marnies, three Professor's Research, and a whole whack of tools. We do have one air balloon so that something other than superior superior can pivot. We've also got two big charms because you want to get the HP on superior as high as you can. One big parasol. We're still respecting stuff like Amazing Rare Evil Tall and Sableye and Giratina. And this is kind of a flex flexible spot as well. If you don't respect those things, then by all means go for it. And you know, superior is um, it does have some other problems that may, like, maybe you want a second choice belt in there or something so that you can more reliably take out Pokemon Vs. That's totally fine. Um, and then in terms of energy splits, we've got four double turbos and six grass energy. I will say, having played this deck, it's certainly not the strongest deck. It's not my favorite to play. I, I think this is even, like, a tier below Reggie Drago. Um, I think it's okay. Uh, can you make, can you make this work? Yeah, you can. It's really nice in particular where you can get the, the massive KOs with the Altaria as a great equalizer, but it's, you're, you're kind of like trying to hit and run and, and attack with the clean superior and, and stuff like that. Kind of chipping away at your, your opponent rather than trying to land the big hit. Um, yeah, so let, let's get to the matches. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season, whether you celebrate Christmas or, or not. Oh, we're going first. They let us go first. That is sus. Very sus. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I'm going to start the superior for the time being. I may regret that. I wouldn't be surprised if this was like Soul Rock Lunatone or something. Huh. Okay, it's not. I don't know what this is. Sure. Let's go in. Four cards. Stonjourner? Oh, Duraludon. Okay. Um. Let's go and quick ball away a quick ball. And get down a, a second superior. And we are going to want to throw down a... Ooh. Um, let's get rid of the other superior and we'll throw that back in with Ordinary Rod. Let's go grab a Swablu and we will... I don't actually have to Ordinary Rod it right this second. Ooh, we also have a challenge here in that Duraludon can block attacks from special energy. So we're gonna have to navigate our way around that. And that's not ideal. Not ideal. We don't necessarily have a a good answer for that. And I think that this might be... Let's see what they have. Let's see what they have. If they get, like, Arceus and, and Duraludon set up, then we might be dead? Okay, they don't get... They're not going to charge up here, so that's good. We do get a whole bunch of stuff set up here. And this is great. Though it's the it's the Duraludon part that freaks me out, unfortunately. Where we just don't have a good answer for Duraludon things. And we didn't even get... Wow. We didn't even get um, energy here. And not just any energy, just you know, energy. <laughs> okay. Didn't get what we were looking for. Let's curl that up. 
Hopefully we can get a double turbo here. No. Okay. All right. Big charm not going to work here. At the very least, we now have three grass energy on a superior. We can just attack straight up. If we have to. They are still stuck too. Oh, okay. We do get a third grass energy. That's great. Uh, they will get Arceus V-Star. Oh, they're going to go with, straight into Duraludon. Okay. Huh. All right. I think we can work around this. I think we can work around this. Right? We go attach energy and we we regal blender for 190 and we move one of the energies to altaria we'll set that up and hopefully we can knock this out no problem interesting that they didn't go for 160 yeah, they're still, they're still not going for, oh, Regal Blender again. We'll take the knock on the Duraludon, and I'm actually going to hold my energy this time. Okay, we get boss, superior, and energy, Marnie. Okay, Marnie's fine, Marnie's fine. Hopefully they, they hit us really hard. No. What? Okay. Not sure what the... What the goal is here. But we're going to go and take a pot shot at that Duraludon. While we still can. And we will Regal Blender. And I wonder if they see the play we're gonna move this energy over to this altaria and we wait let's see if they see it swing at the superior please i know you want to i know you want to okay okay come on hit me for 220. i know you do <laughs> Wow, they're just loading all the energy onto this Duraludon. And I don't know why they... I mean, maybe they just... They had the they had the chance to get Arceus. I don't understand why they didn't go for the Arceus here at all. They're just continuing to bench Duraludons here. And yeah, all right. We, we win. We hit the play. And we can show what, what happens here. We'll retreat into Altaria. Altaria does the magical echo and, and knocks out the Duraludon for a whole bunch. Heals up the superior. GG's. All right. Well, <clears throat> admittedly, not the greatest match. Um, however, this does show the core concept of the deck. We did have all of the things set up to make superior tanky. We got the energy moving around to set up the Altaria. The Altaria came in as a single prize attacker, up trading with a Duraludon VMAX. And yeah, the Superior tanked that first hit and, and we got the win. Uh, could our opponent have played that better? I think they're, they could have made some different moves, maybe kept them more in the match. But at the very least, this match, as, as lopsided as it ended up being, does kind of show off the core concept of how superior works ggs yeah not an ideal start i think against Mew in particular let's go with manaphy in the active actually because i am horrified that we will just lose a okay we can go leafy on and superior and let's actually get rid of this Marnie, get rid of this Altaria. And the Manaphy is actually a problem now. Because they they have they themselves have drawn poorly. And it's not... Okay. Yes, we do want the Big Charm. 
We do want the energy. Let's go get that second energy onto Superior. And we wait. I think it would be very nice if we could set up a either the Altaria or the the Cricketune to try and tank hits here. Let's see. Thankfully, tails, 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 tails. In a way, I kind of hope it's heads just so we can have a bit of a match here. Otherwise, I could just see them scooping if they if they don't. But at least we're both in a position where we're both starting with not ideal Pokemon. I'm still like there is still a chance that they end up coming in coming in hot with the Meloetta knocking out the Manaphy, and that's kind of what I want. Let's see what they have here. All right, they're gonna attach DTE. We don't have to worry about getting KO'd here. We will have to worry about. The the Mew could very well swing for 300 on the the next turn. It's going to take a lot for them to do it, but they could. At which point, yeah, we really would want the... I think we would prefer the... Yeah, the Altaria to then move it back and heal for us. Okay, they're going to get set up. Okay, this is... We're not going to see a Meloetta at all in... I don't... They, yeah, they, okay. I'm guessing this is a DTE Mew build. Okay. So they're probably just going to stay here. Oh, what are they bossing up? Oh, the Leafeon. That's actually kind of bad. Because if we just lose the Leafeon instead, that would be not ideal. We could go and retreat Starwinder and, and just knock out the Oracorio. Like, we're not necessarily built for doing a whole whack of damage here. Like, we're not really going to use Superior Starwinder, each energy attached to this Pokemon. Like, yeah, I guess you could get one-hit KOs on that. I think just to get the Oracorio out of the way, 120, this takes 20 less damage. So yeah, we would still do enough damage to the Oracorio. Actually, do we even have to do that? Yeah, we would have to do that if we don't uh, get a retreat here. Okay. I am... I think it's okay if we use our V-Star power to, to knock this out. I know it's not ideal, but I think I would rather that than me attach here and then not have... Oh! Oh, and they're going to play Path. All right. Um... Huh. Okay, path doesn't hurt me too much. Let's go and retreat. And I don't have an easy way to attach more energy. We do get the Drapion, though, for whatever that's worth. And let's actually go and get rid. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have let them stay in path. That was actually quite the mistake on my part. And now... We, we just kind of do like a little bit of damage. Do we go and get rid of... Hmm. Are we still trying to play Altaria here? That I don't know. Hmm. The Altaria plays kind of sick, but we also have... I'll hold on to it for now. And let's go Starwinder. Actually. Yeah. We're going for it. We're going for it. We'll set it up. We'll just hit for 100 here. And we'll switch to the... Yeah, let's switch to the Manaphy. I don't care about the Manaphy. Take the Manaphy. Gladly take the Manaphy. Because the other play we can do, we could also try and play for, like, when's the best time to drop the Drapion? I guess any time you can drop the, uh-oh. Any, 
anytime we can drop the Drapion to get three prizes on Mew is the thing. But, like, I'm concerned that we're going to get Marnied here or something. Oh, we're going to get Averyed. And Avery's actually not bad. Because that opens up space for... <laughs> actually opens up space for Drapion here. And they're not going to gust. Okay, yep, yeah, I like this. I like this. Go ahead, take out the Menifee. Take it out. Take it out. I'm going to take my my cheeky three prizes and then set up the rest of my game plan. Hmm. Yeah, we will have this superior ready to attack next turn. I guess they could knock out the... The Swablu. Yeah, the, getting the Altaria set up would be nice too. Uh, but I think our, our play... Do we have Ordinary Rod still? Because it could just switch to Double Drapion. Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to nullify... The yeah, this the 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 comeback attack, and that's fair. That's fair. Okay, so we lose that. We lose that. That's not ideal, but they do have the the weak Mew still out in play. We love that for us. We also like attaching energy, and we also love a Drapion surprise. And we do have ordinary Rod here, so. Um, this is actually pretty ideal for us unless they put down Lost City, which I don't think they will. We will retreat for free and we will Drapion and we'll put the end of the damage on Manaphy. Oh, hold on. I, oh, okay. We got quick ball. We got quick ball. We have a way to... Uh, get around the second Mu V Max. So this is. <sighs> oh, they're gonna lost City us. That's good. That's actually a heads up play on their part because now I'm gonna lose my Drapion forever. And what are they gonna bench? Ah, bench the Crobat to try and take another easy. Two prizes. Ah, uh, damn. Okay, they are making the and we're gonna get Roxanne too. Whoo. Okay. Do we have Luminion still? Okay, we can Luminion here, which is great. We will unfortunately lose Drapion here, and yep, they have to use the the power tab. Okay, what is the the play? Because they may, they can't, they can't psychic leap here. They can't afford to psychic leap. Hmm. Yeah, they will have to techno blast. We are gonna hit. We're gonna be just short. Unfortunately, we're like twenty damage short. Unless no, there's no way we can cover up that damage and so they do have the opportunity to to psychic leap on us okay let's mini on unfortunately putting even more targets on the board that oof um do we okay um, our play here. Hopefully they do not Psychic Leap here. And I guess the... Actually, yeah. If we move all the energy... To the fresh one. Because then we force them to Gust. Right? Right? Mm. Ooh, I should have done... Hold on, hold on. Uh, what if... 
I, I have four energy here. And they're going to do a whole bunch of damage. Yeah, what if I move this here? Okay, now we wait. I was trying to set up like a, a checkmate situation, and I don't think I can. We do make it harder for them, though. We do have boss in hand, so we do have game right there. We do have free retreat. They have to take three prizes. I don't think they can. So let's see how they approach it. Let's see how they approach it. They are going to boss up what? The Swablu? No. Okay. And they're just going to take the two prizes off the Luminion. And hopefully we don't get Roxanne or marnie here. And if they don't, we've got game. Please just attack. Just attack. You know you want to. You know you want to. Yes, power tablet it up. Go ahead. Go do all the extra damage. No, they're trying to thin their hand and get, like, do they have any sort of hand disruption here? Uh, they probably do. They probably have at least one Marnie ready to go. Or, like, somewhere in this hand. And that would be terrible. Just swing. Just swing. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Yes, we got him. We got him. Okay. Whew. That was close. That was close. That could have gone very poorly for us. We definitely were playing that shorthanded. We didn't get the, the cricket tot set up. We didn't get any of the other things. Uh, we did get the Drapion play, though. And the Drapion play was massive for us. We get the Regal Blender, take our three prizes, and, and win. GG's. All right, so again, well, I don't know if I, I probably cut out the other one, um, but Drapion came in pretty clutch, giving us a, a sweet three prizes that we could take, um, take pretty much for free on Mew with pairing really well with Superior and the free retreat. Um, but even then, we still had the... We were constantly threatening with the Altaria. They clearly knew what they were doing taking out the altar or taking out the squad blue instead of the manaphy earlier in the game we had the energy thanks to superior's attack with regal blender and we can move the energy around we were able to set ourselves up in such a way where we could use the one superior in the active as the shield and then have a superior on the bench ready to go as well as the altaria almost fully set up to then return that damage back and thankfully they they didn't mess up our cards and we were able to just boss up the the Mew V Max to take the win GG's. There we go. That is a look at Superior V Star. I will admit these weren't necessarily the the finest matches. I do think we did get enough of showing what superior can do it did take a bit to get some some decent matches in there the ones that i did show uh the duraladon one was was kind of messy but it kind of showed the loop and then the mew match there in particular kind of showed the the threat of the altaria and the, the the handiness of drapion still being able to chip away doing decent damage with superior while setting up your secondary attackers to be ready to strike later all right so i maybe there's some more i'm not fully sold admittedly on superior as a deck archetype there might be some other optimizations one could make to squeeze more out of superior if you are a superior fan let me know in the comments what you think what what would you adjust to try and get more out of superior v-star i think the deck is it's okay but i don't think i would go out of my way to 
build this. I think at, I don't know what Serpira is trading for. I'm going to guess like one to two packs. You can get some other really strong decks for the same price. I think you're you're talking about like Gudra V-Star and Zorark V-Star and stuff like that, which I think are, are better than Superior. But if you like this play style and the healing and the hit and run, uh, maybe give this a go. All right. That's going to be it from me. I think the way things are, are shaking out, this is going to be the first video of the new year. So Merry Christmas. If you celebrate, Happy New Year to you all. I hope you have a wonderful 2023. And some quick plugs before we go. Make sure to... Oh, we're going to start with the website this time. Check out the website, insthirdperson.com, for more articles and videos on video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. You can find me on all the things, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, at InThirdPerson. And last but not least, you can find me on Twitch, where I stream the Pokemon trading card game every Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. All right. Let's get out of here. Happy 2023, y'all. We're going to have, it's going to be some exciting times. We're going to do like one or two more decks in the Silver Tempest era before Crown Zenith comes out. We're going to try and play some Regigigas V-Star, try and mess around with Eternatus, Radiant Eternatus. There's at least like a couple of Japanese lists, which look really sick, that I want to try Eternatus, Radiant Eternatus with. And um, I, I can't wait for rotation. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.